Hey everyone, Tragic here to do another Masterpiece Hunt. And I think from now on I'm going to just do these as double doses. Two packs of each set that might have a Masterpiece in it. For fun. Probably not for profit. But definitely for fun. So we got a couple packs of Battle for Zendikar to go first here. And can I even open up this pack? Tragic as usual. It's kind of cold in here. That's my excuse. My fingers are like cramping up. It is almost winter time. Let's see. We got some commons so with some Eldrazi's. We're going to kind of go through these a little quick here. And to some uncommons, we got a Tajiru Warcaller, Ruination Guide, Sylvan Scrying, might be a good one, and a Wasteland Strangler. It's a 3-2 Eldrazi processor for three. It's got Devoid. When it enters the battlefield, you may put a card an opponent owns from exile into that player's graveyard. If you do, target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. Not a big one, I'm pretty sure. And a land and a token. Next pack. That went a little bit easier. Tajiru. And a worm. And an Entanglers. Core Entanglers, Encircling Fisher, Horribly Awry, and a Canopy Vista. Green and white tap land. Enters the battlefield tap unless you control two or more basic lands. Not bad. It's usable, I believe. Next up, Oath of the Gatewatch. Expedite this video for you guys here. Hopefully this is at least enjoyable to watch. If you're watching it, maybe you're okay with this. I don't know. Cinder Barons, Void Grafter, Tears of Valakut, and Ailey, Eternal Pilgrim. 2-3 Core Cleric for 2. It's got Death Touch. And you can pay to sacrifice another creature. And you gain life equal to the sacrifice creature toughness. And you can pay some more to sacrifice and exile non-target non-land permanent. Only if you have at least 10 more life than your starting total. Probably not doable. This is my favorite Full Art Island. The Bowl. Just to let you know. Alright. No Masterpiece so far. Dazzling Reflection. It's pretty dazzling. Some vampires, some allies. Got a settlement. Essence Depleter. Bonds of Mortality. Thought Harvester. And an Eldrazi Obligator. Is it obligated to do anything? It's a 3 1 Eldrazi for 3. Devoid. When you cast it, you may pay 1 in a colorless. If you do, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature and it gains haste until end of turn. So it's an act of treason with a body. Honestly, it's not a bad kind of card, I would think. I can see how it might have seen a little play during standard. I'm not sure. I wasn't playing at that time. We've got Kaladesh pack up next. Hijack. Why not? Dramatic reversal. It's, uh... Pretty cool there on Kaladesh, all that style. Oval Chase Dragster, Brazen Scourge, Fairgrounds Trumpeter, and a Scrap Heap Scrounger. 3 2, Artifact Creature for 2. Can't block. You can pay some to exile another creature card from your graveyard and return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. The old graveyard switcheroo thing, right? An artifact. Cool. Aether Trade, trade Winds, Reckless Fireweaver, and some of the commons that we're not going to read all of. Die Young, that's horrible. Iron League Steed, Fairgrounds Warden, Experimental Aviator, and a Sahili Rye. Mythic Planeswalker. This one's coming back up with Pioneer format. Uh, you can do some stuff with her, uh, not least of which is the, I believe, now banned... Uh, copycat um, combo and uh, still a pretty good card. Alright, Aether Revolt. A 
Leave it in the dust. Decommission. Ragged map. Gontis, Machinations, Narnum Renegade, Lifecraft Awakening, and Metallic Mimic. Very cool. It's a 2 1 shapeshifter for two. As it enters the battlefield, it chooses a creature type. It is the chosen type in addition to its other types. And each other creature you control with the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional one with counter on it. This is a tribal workhorse right there. You can throw that in anything. So that's a good card right there. And another Aether Revolt. Since I've been opening these packs for these uh, Masterpiece Hunts, which I, I basically opened a new box of each of these, and I've been going through them, I have not found a Fatal Push yet from Aether Revolt. So looking for that someday soon. Winding Constrictor, I like this card. I think it's uh, pretty useful. Spire Patrol, Hungry Flames, and a Rishkar. Pima Renegade. It's Elf Druid 2 2 for 3. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1 counter on each of up to 2 target creatures. And each creature you control with a counter on it has add a forest to your mana pool. Not bad. Amiket. Cartouche. 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 The <laughs> trifecta of cartouches. Three in a row there. Magma Spray. Synchronized Strike. Nest of Scarabs. Vizier of Deferment. Good card. Irrigated Farmland. Uh, and there's a Battlefield tapped. You can uh, then cycle it and you can make some white and blue out of that. These things, eh, they were like, there's no longevity to them. Nobody would ever use that outside of like limited. Uh, another pack of Amicut. Forsake the Worldly. Interesting. The Kenra Charioteer. Oop, we got something foil. Consuming Fervor. Grasping Dunes. Liliana's Mastery. You can pay five for an enchantment. Zombies you control get one one. When it enters the battlefield, create two 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 black zombie creature tokens. It's not bad. Kind of a lot to pay for that. And then you get a foil mouth to feed. Uh, create a green, a 3-3 three, three green hippo creature token. And then, in the aftermath, draw a card for each creature you control, a power 3 or greater. Cool. Not cool enough for me to want to play it, but there it is anyway. Hour of Devastation. This lonely camel right there. Moloch. A Magmaroth. Claim to fame. Overcome. And leave to chance. Uh, you, you can return any number of target permanents you own to your hand. Or you can then discard any number of cards and draw them any cards. I'm sure that's got some uses. All right, last pack, and then we'll scan them up and see if I got anything much out of this. That was crazy looking. A Harrier Naga. Well, we'll just put that there. A Hashup Oasis, a Cursed Horde, Riddle Form, and a Dream Stealer. It's a one-two human wizard for three. It's got Menace. When it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards that many cards. So one, potentially more. You can internalize it. Oh, you gotcha. So you can make a token of this. And have a 4-4, four, four, make you discard kind of guy. So there you go. All right, let's scan up my rares and see how I did. Okay, got my stack of rares. And we'll just scan them up here and see if any of them are any good. I got a Dream Stealer. A leave to chance. Not really. I got a mouth to feed. And that is a foil. Still nothing big. I got a Liliana's Mastery. That's okay. Over a buck. I got an irrigated farmland. Just over 90 cents. Uh, Rishkar. 
I got a Metallic Mimic, should be okay. Yep, 787. And a Sahili Rai, also 7. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Nope, a Drowsy Obligator. Ailey. Canopy Vista, might be a couple bucks. Yeah, 3. And a Wasteland Strangler. There you go, so. 2537 is about what I got out of my rares so that's what it is still looking for those masterpieces maybe they're in there somewhere I think I'm gonna just keep trying until I get one why not right thanks for stopping by make sure to comment and like and catch you later on the next one